Good morning, folks, starting with an update to a repeating story. This is solar maximum so far, and the red line they've failed to label here is the predicted level. We were predicted to be very low, and as you can see, we're even lower. This is related to our collapsing atmosphere. It is supposed to expand and contract with the rise and fall of solar flares during maximum and minimum, but we are now witnessing a very serious contraction way more than expected and because it's what they do when they don't want to explain the real cause of climate change they just blame co2 well the lack of flares and solar minimum is an issue with the collapse as we know but this last minimum was seriously low one of the deepest minimums as of 2008 was met with reassurances that this was as low as we can go but 2009 was even lower and it wasn't for many more months until the sunspots began to return en masse even now the flares aren't happening. Even this is misleading because the Earth-side sunspots don't appear to be flaring. I have many videos on why this lack of flares is a huge atmospheric game changer. The US drought took the fall off, kind of, but is back on the rise now, again approaching more record levels. Despite tornado outbreaks that hit records early last year and the wild Christmas outbreak days ago, 2012 as a whole followed a horrendous 2011 on an extremely low tornadic note enough to scratch one's head. Also looking at the solar magnetics, we can just about say that the sun's poles have flipped. It's not totally complete yet, but hey, our eyes can see the story. Tropical storm Wukong is a shell of its former self currently out in the South China Sea. Europe, that low is boring. Get some different weather. At least the northern peninsula is going to warm up tomorrow. If it looks like a cyclone is bearing down just north here, close to Samoa, you are correct. A small but deep low will have winds near 80 miles per hour. The low pressure system in the southern part of the U.S. will bring severe storms to the Gulf tonight. Remnants of winter storm Euclid are dusting northeastern Canada, while this mega low pressure system in the North Pacific has again begun flipping moisture onto the northwest U.S., Canada, and Alaska. Here are the global thunderstorm warning zones for the next few hours. When the magnetic danger dies down, so do the flares. Approaching the floor here as our decaying region turned the western limb with our newcomers still a bit shy about popping one our direction, as has been true for the majority of the last 13 months. Solar wind, still calm, still waiting for that coronal hole stream, got a hit today or it will have missed Earth completely. Keep watch on those filaments too, luckily this one didn't erupt. Last six point quake was in Vanuatu a week ago, I expect the drought to end before the new year as the quake watch continues with a full moon as I speak and space weather expected to strike. Eyes open, it's 6.35am eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.